I'm Tara with Simple MDM, and today we're going to explore the various enrollment methods supported by Simple MDM and how to choose the best one for your Apple device fleet. Let's dive in. When it comes to enrolling your devices in Simple MDM, we recommend using automated enrollment with Apple Business Manager. Automated enrollment not only offers a secure and streamlined process, but it's the only method that prevents users from removing the MDM profile. If you've purchased your devices from Apple or an Apple approved reseller, they will automatically be added to your Apple Business Manager account at the time of purchase, making the enrollment process even more quick and convenient. Alternatively, you can manually add devices to Apple Business Manager using Apple Configurator, a Mac OS application provided freely by Apple. If you need more guidance or detailed instructions, don't worry. We have comprehensive documentation in our knowledge base, as well as informative blogs that cover the process in more depth. Let's walk through the process of enrolling an iOS device into Simple MDM using automated enrollment with Apple Business Manager. Before proceeding, ensure that you have already connected your DEP account and associated devices with Simple MDM, as covered in the previous video. Both these steps must be completed before enrolling your devices. Next, you'll want to make sure that you've assigned devices to your MDM server in Apple Business Manager. To do this, log into your Apple Business Manager account and click on the Devices tab. Select the device you want to enroll into Simple MDM and click Edit MDM Server. Assign it to the server name that is connected to Simple MDM and press Confirm. Once you sync with Apple, the devices will show up in Simple MDM as awaiting enrollment. Once you've accomplished these tasks, you're all set to go. Start by powering on your device for the first time and going through the initial setup questions. If prompted for Wi-Fi information, select a wireless network that has internet access since it's required to complete the automated enrollment process. Once your device is connected to the internet, the setup process will conform to the DEP settings you previously configured. The operating system will then communicate with Apple servers to check if the device is assigned to a server. Once the assigned MDM server is found, the device will initiate the download of the enrollment profile. After the enrollment profile is successfully downloaded, other apps and profiles that have been assigned to the device will proceed to download in the background. When the setup process is completed, the device will appear under Devices in the Simple MDM admin interface. And that's all there is to it. Congratulations, you've enrolled the device using automated enrollment. Before we move on to demonstrating enrollment by link or group enrollment, it's worth mentioning that today we'll be showcasing these methods on an iOS device. However, please note that you can also enroll Mac OS devices to Simple MDM. For detailed step-by-step -step instructions on enrolling Mac OS devices, check out our knowledge base. Let's cover enrollment by link or group enrollment. The enroll by link method is the easiest way to enroll one or a few devices. However, it's important to note that this method does not allow administrators to enable supervision or prevent the user from removing the MDM profile. To enroll by link, you'll first need to create the enrollment URL. Within Simple MDM, click Enrollments on the left side of the screen, click Add Enrollment, and select Group Enrollment or One-Time Enrollment. The difference between the two is that the enrollment URL for one-time enrollment will be invalid after it's used once, whereas a group enrollment URL remains valid until it's deleted. Give the enrollment a name and select the initial device group that you want devices to be assigned to once they enroll. Make sure to keep user enrollment set to No and then Save. On the following screen, you'll find the enrollment URL displayed under the Enrollment section. You can directly email or SMS this link to a device using the Send to Device option. 
Alternatively, the enrollment link URL can be manually entered or clicked in Safari on the device. To enroll the device, open Safari and enter the enrollment link URL. On the web page, click Download Enrollment Profile button and select Allow when prompted to download a configuration profile. Close the prompt and return to the home screen, then open the Settings app. From the main Settings menu, select Profile Downloaded. The Install Profile screen will appear. Choose Install and enter your passcode if required. A warning screen will appear and you'll need to select Install again, followed by a remote management dialog where you'll choose Trust. The device will then enroll with SimpleMDM. Once that process has completed, you may select Done. Now, let's quickly touch on user enrollment which is the most limited type of enrollment. User enrollment is primarily designed for bring your own device scenarios where the device belongs to the end user themselves but will be used for work purposes. It's worth noting that this method requires users to authenticate using a managed Apple ID from Apple Business Manager to enroll. While this enrollment method does not allow companies to enforce any form of restrictions on users' personal activities on devices, it does create a completely separate file system to separate users' personal data from business data. This means that users can enjoy helpful business apps, access corporate accounts, utilize VPNs, and more on their personal devices without compromising privacy or security. Lastly, we have account-driven enrollment, which is a new method for enrolling devices into MDM. With this method, end users can enroll their devices directly by signing in via the Settings app with a managed Apple ID from their organization instead of downloading a profile from an external link. This new method can be used in place of profile-based enrollment methods for both user-owned BYOD devices as well as company-owned devices that are not eligible for automated enrollment. One thing that's important to know about account-driven enrollment is that it does require a bit more work on the admin side to configure compared to traditional profile-based enrollment options. Specifically, it requires the admin to configure a web server on their domain matching the domain used for their managed Apple IDs to have a well-known service discovery URL to redirect to the enrollment URL. For more information on configuring account-driven enrollment, we recommend that you refer to our documentation. Now that we've covered the different methods for enrolling devices in SimpleMDM, let's take a, a step back and talk about supervising devices. iOS devices can be placed in a special mode called supervised mode, which grants a SimpleMDM administrator additional control over the device that they would not have otherwise. Supervised mode is not directly tied to MDM, but it does allow MDM to send special commands and configurations to devices. If you want to supervise your iOS devices, you will need to use automated enrollment with Apple Business Manager or Apple Configurator. Supervision also applies to Mac OS and will be enabled automatically on modern OSs when using any enrollment method besides user enrollment. All right, that's all for today. I'm Tara with Simple MDM. See you next time, where we'll cover device configurations using features like device groups and configuration profiles with Simple MDM. Mm -hmm.